All right, YouTubers, JP Dillon here again. I wanted to show you the advanced service on a VM. So we'll just do a quick tear down to the point where you start taking the transmission out. So we'll take the main slide off. Undo the reset spring. Take this off back here. Work that out. Get the slide off. Let's get the retainer clip off for the cycling mechanism. This one's been previously greased, so it's in a little bit better shape than the previous one. Let's pull the slide out, save the ball bearing. Cam comes out. All right, now we're getting there. Now, uh, the next thing I recommend you do, um, you can either clean and lube these now or after you take the whole thing out. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, but the next thing you have to do is if there's torn arm wiring, make sure to cut the little tape and get it loose so you have some slack. You're gonna want that, trust me. Uh, then, you're going to want to take loose the wires that attach to the power switch. Uh, you can also take the entire power switch loose if you've got one of these plastic ones with the clips on it. Um, although if it's brittle, be careful because you can oftentimes make a bad situation worse. You can either use a small screwdriver or a dental pick to get them up and out. They're a bit of a pain. Sometimes it's helpful to get the wires up. I just know this is going to want to fight me. Let's try the dental pick method. Assuming I can get it under there. Nope, you're stuck. Alright, so let's get the switch out as a whole. And hopefully it doesn't break from being brittle. Okay, we got one, two out. Okay, so switch comes off. I'm just going to tuck that aside. Uh, the next thing we have to do is take the toner arm off. And that's why you wanted that slack. So you'll find this nut underneath here and a spring which wraps around this screw. Uh, I rest my thumb on here while I'm taking the spring off because it has a tendency to want to fly away. You can use a box head wrench, you can use anything you want. I just happen to have a crescent here. Let's take this loose. See how the spring wants to run away from you? So go ahead and unlatch it. It under hooks here and over the screw here. Let's take that off. Let's take the little keeper off, which sometimes you have to get a little aggressive with. Now that that's free, see if you can lift up on the arm and get it free of this guy. This is usually where the fun part comes in because usually the arm wants to stick itself here. This one's pretty sticky. Sometimes you can apply heat with a heat gun and get it to come off. This one's obviously going to be problematic. So let's go on the bottom here. This is the piece that's attached to the arm. Uh, yep, you're stuck. We want to use heat then. Let me grab a heat gun.
try to keep the heat directed away from the wiring harness unless you want to melt it. See what a little bit of heat can do. Yeah, it's moving. Uh, it's just moving real slow. loose but not loose enough. Let's try a pry method and get underneath it. There we go, now it's starting to come up. This one's really on here. Some of these just kind of come up, but this one is on here. All right. You may have less difficulty than I have here getting this up. Okay, tone arms off. Save the little washer and the ball bearing. This is a fancy dancy one. This is allow what allows it to track at two grams. Nice tone arm bearings. Okay. So we're going to flip it back over again, and so now this comes out, and you can see that there's a little keeper there. That's where that goes, not the position. Take this out, make sure this is all free moving. You want to clean and lubricate this, as well as the mating shaft there. Okay, this is all free moving. So there are three screws holding this in. There's one Phillips on this side. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get some a little shorter. Sorry, my hand's in the way. You're going to want to undo this. And then top side. Make sure I don't kill the tone arm. There are two more. These guys here. Uh, which if you have a what size is this? I think it's a 5 16 They usually do it. Maybe it's a yeah, about a 5 16 Take those two out. Okay. And this should all lift out as one assembly. Now you're going to have a little bit of a difficulty here. This little thing here is part of the power switch on and off reject linkage, and you're going to have to kind of work that as you take it out. Um, this just transmission just lifts out. You're going to have to finagle the angle on that, and there we go. So that's out. The transmission is out. Uh, let's just set this down here. Let's move our deck with the tone arm aside. I'm just going to set this on a shelf over here. Okay, so here it is. There's your 10 inch feeler, there's your 12 inch wand, uh, and these come off of here. You can pull this E-clip and clean and lube that. Um, and you can get to the rest of the parts much easier this way. Uh, a failure mode you commonly see on these is that the machine won't quite shut off the knob will turn but you won't hear the click of the power switch that's because this bushing here which operates the lever the fork that turns the power switch gets sticky this one is just starting to degrade now in order to fully clean this you have to remove this piece and I don't know if you can see that there maybe the camera will focus uh, but there's a little snap ring on there and you need to get that off in order to deal with the part underneath. Um, so what we're going to do is, is get that part off. And also be aware that this is under spring tension, so you got to be careful how you do it. And uh, gosh, 
I don't know if the best way to explain this other than just be really careful. I have a pair of needle nose that I shape to be kind of like a makeshift snap ring puller. Uh, and I fit them under the, there, expand it, and there it goes. Um, I'll have to find that. I've got others if I need them. Um, I should have kept my thumb on top of it. Now this is under spring tension, so before you totally let go of it, you may wish to release the spring here by pulling it towards you and then away. And then lifting up here, out and away comes this part. And now you've got exposure to the sticky on and off slide. Uh, so flip this over and take care of this E-clip here. If it'll come off. This whole machine has just been fighting me. Okay, so you take that off. If it's totally frozen, you'll need heat to get that out. So don't be afraid to use a heat gun on it. This part pulls out, and you can see here, or maybe you can't. Let's try and focus on this. You've got uh, sticky grease and stuff here that needs to be cleaned off. Uh, this is starting to get sticky, too, so I may want to take care of that. That's also under spring tension, which is... Uh, attached behind here and then to here at this point. So just take your time with it, make notes as you take it apart, and that's a more thorough cleaning service. Like I said, you can get to all the common stuff that we showed you in the other video uh, regarding the basic service on the VM. So uh, just clean and lube all this, make it happy. If you've got an ultrasonic cleaner with the greaser, you can use that. Some people use oven cleaner, some people just scrape with uh, tools and then clean the rest with alcohol and stuff. That's what I commonly do. But that's the more advanced part of the VM service. So I hope that this is helpful to you. Uh, if you've got one that's particularly troublesome, sometimes it's best to just gut the whole thing uh, and do it all at once. But anyway, uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching the video. More stuff to come. Oh, and one more thing before we head out. I want to make note of one thing that you didn't see in the basic service either. Just this little part here. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus and be nice to me. All right, this part here, as you can see, a little bit sticky. Make sure that gets clean too. That's part of your shutoff cycle as well. Um, <clears throat> that won't completely disable it, but it will make things malfunction. Basically with this, you want to clean and lube the piss out of everything. Anything that moves should get all the old grease cleaned out. You can see I've already done the power switch thing. I'm going to take this off next, and then we'll do all the rest of these, all the record feelers, selector switch stuff. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to include that last note uh, because it's important. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. More stuff to come soon.